Coach Willie, you need way more than five, and this is not necessarily the schedule that's going to make it an easy task in 2019. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the schedules, and we rank them 70 all the way up to number one. That's all the teams in the Power 5 conferences, plus the major independents. Of course, do your Amazon shopping using the link in the description section below. Please help us build the channel doing that. Like the videos, comment, subscribe, and share the videos as well to help us continue to bring you the best in college football content each and every day. And we are ranking the schedule 70 all the way up to number one and providing our record projection right now. We have arrived at schedule number four in the ACC. That's the fourth most difficult schedule in the Atlantic Coast Conference, number 38 in the nation. It belongs to the Florida State Seminoles coming off that dismal 5-7 and seven campaign under Willie Taggart. All right. What intrigues me about Florida and Florida State schedules, also Georgia, Georgia Tech, uh, Louisville and Kentucky, and uh, then you've got South Carolina and Clemson, is that they play those last games of the season, those ACC-SEC rivalries against each other. So will those programs go out and schedule another difficult game? So what has been the case for most Power 5 teams outside the likes of the Cowards, Washington State, and Baylor and some of those schools is that you go out and you schedule at least one difficult Power five game. But for those teams, they always have to face a difficult power five game. And I know not always Louisville was awful last year and there are aberrations, but usually it's a difficult uh, game uh, for those teams. But do you schedule another one? And for Florida State, no, they didn't schedule another power five, but they sure as heck have a difficult game August 31st to open the season in Jacksonville against Boise State, I'm intrigued by this matchup. Yes, it doesn't quite move the needle like LSU, Texas, Michigan, Notre Dame, Georgia, Notre Dame, and others. But for a non-conference showdown to start the season, I love this one. Boise State, Florida State, what a test for the Knolls to open the season. Then they've got Louisiana Monroe, September 7th. Then they dive into ACC play against an up-and-coming Virginia squad that, of course, closed the season with a big win over South Carolina, 28 to nothing in the, what, Belk Bowl? Was that the Belk Bowl? I believe no. That was the Gator Bowl. Gator Bowl? One of those bowls in Florida or in the South. All right, September 21st, uh, Florida State's got Louisville. Then they've got NC State. The NC State game should be a test. Uh, the Wolfpack, of course, have been in that 8-4, and 9-3 and three range in recent seasons. So Florida State, uh, not an easy run to start the season before the bye week on October 5th. Again, it's Boise State. Louisiana Monroe, and then three key ACC games, Virginia on the road, Louisville, and NC State. All right, then comes the most difficult stretch of the season against the best team in the country last season, Clemson on the road. The Knowles lost this game at home last year, 59-10. to They go to Clemson. They go to Wake Forest. They did beat the Demon Deacons. That was one of two decent efforts that they had last year in beating Wake Forest in Boston College last year. And a decent effort against Miami as well. But uh, go to Clemson and Wake Forest back-to-back weeks. Then Syracuse and Miami at home. Then Boston College on the road. So the toughest stretch of the season right here, those five consecutive games against Clemson, Wake Forest, Syracuse, Miami, and Boston College. All right. Assuming that this team cannot win the Atlantic Division, that this is the division that is owned and a sure bet more than any division in college football with the dominance of Clemson and Florida State just needing to get off the map, the mat per se, of five and seven, that Florida State needs to win a majority of these games. I, I would think that eight and four would be a good goal this season. All right, Alabama State on November 16th before an open date and then the Florida game to conclude 2019. And of course, the Knolls were drubbed by the Gators after owning this series in recent years. At home, again, another embarrassment at home against a Florida 41-14. to So for Florida State, they've got a pretty difficult draw out of the Coastal Division. Of course, they always play Miami, and they've got the Canes at home again on November 2nd, and they play at Virginia to open up their ACC schedule on September 14th. This is the fourth most difficult schedule in the ACC, and credit Florida State for playing both Boise State and Florida non-conference 
number 38 in college football. And right now, based on the Mark Rogers TV Voice of College Football metrics, we've got a Florida State right now. Where are they? We have them projected to go eight and four. Eight and four, that's five and three in the ACC. I'd love to see what you are projecting Florida State to finish here. They are certainly the wild card in the ACC after five and seven, but with all that a top 15 recruited talent, where will they land in the ACC this season? Of course, they're looking up at Clemson along with everybody else. Leave me your Florida State record below. Shop at Amazon using that link. Join us on Patreon for the Voice of College Football community. And we will be back with schedule number 37 next. <laughs> 